Hello and welcome to this video. Today we're taking a look at multi-charts and we're going to talk about workspaces. Workspaces are just a way to save a collection of charts or other windows and be able to open up them later or maybe separate instruments or time frames. There's a lot of different things you can do with workspaces. So let's go ahead and take a look at multi-charts here and see where we need to get started. So you can see uh, on my uh, chart here, or on my uh, multi-charts instance, I have just a blank workspace open. You can see our workspaces are listed in the bottom left-hand corner here for now. So the one we're working with is the Untitled Zero workspace. Now if I wanted to add a win to, window to this workspace, all I need to do is just add any window that I wanted to. Uh, for example, I can add a chart window. So we'll add a chart in here. And so now I have one ES chart here in my workspace. And what I can do with this is I can, uh, of course, rearrange my windows. I can uh, kind of reposition them, but I can also have multiple charts and multiple windows. So we're not limited to just one type of window or uh, one window per type or anything like that. So for example, I could open up another chart window here. So maybe we'll have a one minute chart and then a uh, one day chart here to kind of separate it out. But what we have uh, the option to do is to be able to kind of quickly manage these charts and windows as well. So if you were to go to the window tab here, so I have those two charts, we have a few options that we can kind of use to quickly arrange those. So there's the arrange all option where it will kind of choose an option for you. We also have arrange horizontally. So that's uh, kind of how it looks currently or arrange vertically. And you can see that will kind of put them side by side as well as a cascade option here. So you have a lot of different options to be able to quickly arrange your charts. If you have uh, multiple charts, for example, you could have um, you know, five or 10 charts in here and uh, it may take a while to kind of position them individually, but you can kind of use those quick options to make it a little bit faster for you. Now you can also have, again, multiple workspaces to kind of separate uh, your uh, different charts or windows. So you can say, I also have another workspace open and I just named it multiple. I do have some uh, multiple windows in here. You can see they're uh, arranged here just kind of in a random fashion. Again, we have these window uh, quick options here to just be able to uh, kind of arrange them. We also have the option to uh, not just have these windows docked into multi-charts. So there's an option where we can actually detach these. So for example, if I wanted to maybe have my uh, real-time market scanner here, if I wanted to actually detach that, I can detach that either using the uh, window option here or the one on our actual uh, market scanner, and that will detach it for us. Or well, there's also within the window here, we can um, uh, attach it back here, but also detach it as well or we can select this window here and then close it. So for example, maybe I wanted to close my market scanner, I'll just select that and then close that out. And then you'll see that that uh, did disappear for us here, so we don't have that on our chart anymore. And in this case, again, we, all we need to do is just arrange these uh, charts again with kind of those quick options. So say we were um, kind of messing around with this workspace again, we just created these different charts here and we wanted to actually uh, save this workspace. To save our workspace, all we need to do is go to File and then Save Workspace here. And that's if you want to save it as the default name. So that would be Untitled Zero. Maybe I want to name it a little bit more descriptive, so I'll name it uh, something else here with Save Workspace As. So since these are two ES charts here, I'll just name this ES and then we'll select Save. So now this workspace is saved, we can uh, close down multi-charts if we wanted to and open it up again. It'll save all the windows within it, the positions of the windows as well. We can also uh, close out the workspace here. So for example, if I wanted to close out the workspace, I can do that. And then I can quickly open it up again. So uh, for example, let's go back here and open up this workspace. And we don't have to just use this file menu. We actually have some quick uh, options here as well. For example, creating a new workspace or opening a workspace. So I could uh, click this option here to kind of bring up all of our workspaces. Well, there's also a kind of drop down menu here we can use to open up our workspaces. So I'll select the ES here. And then that opens it up for us. So we can switch between the tabs here uh, for the uh, workspaces as well. But we also have the option to customize these. So I can actually change the tab settings here uh, just by right mouse clicking and show these on top instead of the bottom if you prefer. If it's a little quicker for you to navigate that way, whatever your personal preference might be, of course you have those options open to you. And again, I can go ahead and go show on bottom here. 
We also have some kind of uh, um, keyboard commands here you can use to kind of quickly switch between the workspaces. So you see the go to next option. If I had uh, three, it would also show go to previous. So uh, we can use that control page down option, or we can use this go to next option to kind of quickly switch between those. And we also have the option to quickly close out our workspaces. So you can see close all workspaces here as well. And then we have just a blank multi-charts instance where we can kind of go ahead and open up whatever workspaces we wanted to. So that's just kind of a quick primer on workspaces. If you do have any more specific questions about workspaces, please feel free to give us a call or visit our website at www.optimusfutures.com.